Um, let's talk instead about a very cheerful subject. Woohoo! Let's talk about the October budget and what uh -oh. might be in store. Oh my God! Um, that, that's terrorism personified. So, so that is terrorism personified. So uh, Sakir Starmer has been warned that he's placing Britain on the path to destitution by preparing a welter of tax rises in next month's budget. This is, of course, after he sort of smoothed the way by inventing a £22 billion black hole that supposedly they knew nothing about. Um, uh, and having said that they weren't going to do X, Y and Z in their manifesto, turns out they'll do whatever they damn well want to because they've now discovered yeah. this uh, massive black hole. It, it's, and it's, it's the same thing that Bates Motel Hunt did mm. several Novembers ago. I mean, it's... it's it, it, it's risible. It's ridiculous that they can't even invent something fake of their own. They have to steal a page from the Tories. <laughs> Basically, a few Novembers ago, um, uh, 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 our viewers and listeners will remember, Bates Motel Hunt said we have a 55 billion pound black hole. Mm. 25 billion of that needs to be filled with taxes. And the very next day, he introduced those stealth taxes, which are still with us, Alex, mm -mm. which took us to the highest level of taxation since Her Late Majesty's coronation 70 odd years ago. The other 30 billion was to be uh, uh, satisfied by cuts in defense, education, police, NHS, blah, blah, blah. Never happened. 48 hours after the tax increases, he said, let's worry about this later. He kicked it down the road. It's never been heard about again. The whole thing was phony baloney. And numerous think tanks came out and said, you know what? If Bates Motel and Fishy had calculated the national debt the same way they've been doing for years when Fishy Rishi was chancellor, mm. we'd actually have a 15 billion pound surplus. This is nonsense. Right. But nobody paid attention. Nobody did. This is exactly the same thing. They've taken a modest half of the previous figure and tried the same thing. You're absolutely right. How can you have a shadow chancellor of the exchequer, shadow treasury ministers, yeah, shadow this, shadow this, shadow, shadow, this, shadow, the shadow, and not having a yeah, shadow of a clue shadow about of what's the, going on? Shadow of the Green Hornet and not have a shadow of a clue. Right. What, how can you not know exactly what the state of finances are? It's ridiculous. And, and, and we oh. and we we buy it, and the media buys it, and you get you get the economic experts on the main channels reciting this, this government nonsense. The, the madness that they say that um, what we're not going to do is put taxes on workers. Yeah. So I'm like, who are you going to tax? The out of work? No, we're going to tax the... money? We're going to tax... We're not going to tax... Alex on her national insurance. No, we're going to we're attack. Gonna we're going to tax, tax Talk her. TV on yeah, her. We're going, yeah, or we're going to tax exactly which Alex will suffer from in a pay packet. Duh. Um, and uh, and I know we're going to have a, a tax on big food or tax on sugar and salt. A tax oh, on driving cars be, per mile. Yeah. Oh, which will be like if you eat, then you're paying taxes that way. Oh yeah, if you drive, you're paying more tax. And that we're going to increase also, inheritance tax. Right. And we're going to introduce a wealth tax and ukulele Ed Miliband is going to introduce his mansion tax. So, no, I want to bring up this mansion well, one tax second, One second, one second. And 10% of the people who are wealthy in this country pay 60% of the tax take. Mm -hmm. And that's how stupid all this is. Those people are going to leave, it's, and they're shooting so, themselves in the foot. Wait, you can't. If you're saying I'm not going to tax workers, you can't tax people who aren't working because they don't have money to tax. So any tax is a tax on people who have earned money, and let, right? Let me just. So it is a tax on work. However you want yeah. to disguise it, yep. it is. Now, if you're doing inheritance tax, that's someone who's worked before and bought stuff that they want to give to the next which generation. They, which they paid tax on doing the money they bought it the with. The so-called mansion tax. Now, yeah. this is an interesting one, right? Because you sit there and you think, well, if someone's got like a massive eight bedroom leafy pad in you know the, the the outskirts of surrey and are moaning about not having any money then boohoo you could have probably afford to pay uh, x amount of money that's how you know they want to invite people to think isn't it sure but if you live in London, right, and your property is over two million quid, it's probably not that big. It probably didn't cost two million quid when you bought it 20 years ago or so. And, and, and it doesn't necessarily mean your earnings are that massive. It's just it happens that because nobody's built enough houses in the past number of decades and because any housing stock that's been built in the capital has been flogged to the Chinese and Russians and Nigerian faux princes, and because, frankly, there's been so much immigration that the competition for housing is 
sky high sure. that the house that someone bought for about you know 200 grand 20 years ago is now worth 2 million but their salary might still be 60k or they their pension uh, might not be much uh, so what are you going to do like, oh so you've got to move out your house now you've got to go sorry you've got to go or you've got to suddenly scare up the mansion, 20 grand the mansion a year. The, for exactly that reason the mansion tax is a ridiculous idea but the biggest thing i mean just to show how stupid all this is the tories wouldn't do it and i, I you know I, Labour's not going to do it, but we pay forty billion pounds a year in interest on phony interest on phony money. We pay interest on the quantitative easing printed money that we've printed and put in circulation. Almost no other country does that. Switzerland yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, do yeah. it. The European Central Bank. We're paying from the left pocket to the right pocket and counting that as the national debt. I'm paying interest debt. on that, which is even wilder. Yeah. It's like, oh, hold on, let's move this to this hand and then pay extra. Yeah. To, to, and it's, and it's Bates crazy. Motel said, look, we're broke, we're broke. Uh, because 40 billion a year. Now, Alex, that 40 billion a year is almost exactly what it would cost every year for the most important tax move imaginable. Yeah raise the threshold for lower income people and tens of millions of pensioners from 12,570 quid to 20 grand mm, mm. And, and 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 take people out of the tax net who don't belong there and ease the burden of cost of living on other people done in an afternoon okay and that 40 billion is the cost of that change yeah. to move the threshold everybody knows this everybody's been talking about it our useless politicians in all parties have taken no action whatsoever on this, and they're not going to.